Alright, it's time for another build. And um, the current build, the one I have right now, I, I took out the god form and combined it with my minimal uh, runestone build. So uh, I'm gonna show you quickly um, my build. Uh, yeah, before my, uh, the reset, I'm at well, around 4.3 billion HP, and so I decided to cut down on the HP talent and distribute that to other talents. Alright. Um, okay, so cut form is usually what. Uh, uh, are all the talents with the night bind effect so night bind is this sp specific talent with dark cage so it imprisons or binds a target for a specific radius which is not mentioned in here but it does bind you to that specific spot so all of these left sides are from the god form so you'll be able to distribute talents that uh, I used to place here into the right side here. So on the right side is mostly the shuffle or unpaired dance ability which is uh, this particular skill. It's a real dance. It's the shuffle dance. So increase damage by 110% in here if you kill someone using uh, or anyone using any skill uh, it will buff you uh, your PvP damage here so it's just a very short amount of time 3 seconds of 3 times for 30 seconds with a cooldown of 120 seconds so it's not always going to be in effect it's every two minutes it's very short just for three seconds up to three layers for 30 seconds uh, yeah so I decided to keep it at the minimum just six after the shuffle it gives you a silence effect and by the way uh, the descriptions are not uh, corrected yet so this is the maximum effect and this is at currently at number 10 so as you can see there the gap is really really big so yeah I haven't um, haven't maxed this out because it will just give you around 11% maxed out and that's no, not a huge impact uh, shuffle deals 0.5% maximum heal health damage um, again, wrong description. This could be around 5%. Um, every mark of Havoc increased uh, to attack speed. That's the, the markings on your, your feet. Uh, for every mark of Havoc increased. So, nope, no, no, no. Reading it again. Removes all buffs after using the shuffle. Yep. And this one, the attack percentage for level 4 plus wings is maxed out so again the markings are the ones here on the floor and under your feet uh, next tab is uh, defense uh, in here I didn't put uh, ring of life here because uh, it's, it's usually pertains to the potion and the potions doesn't really heal you that much so I kept it zero um, yeah uh, accuracy or hit uh, will be reduced by two percent it just kept it a minimum um, damage reduction is increased to percent for three seconds this is a max this one too during the frenzy phase normal attack is four percent damage to heal itself for three seconds madness duration right this is maxed as well burn sacrifice 
fire sacrifice is also burn sacrifice it's also max tier black burn sacrifice the same as fire and burn sacrifice it's also maxed on the right side black fire black fire sacrifice also the same as whatever you call it earlier uh, this one's maxed out uh, almost for the defense uh, I've maxed it out except for this one damage taken is reduced remove all buffs release a night healing which is, or is this one so every 15 seconds but with our talent here it will release a night healing if the fire of eternal life which i think is also the same as black burn or black fire sacrifice or whatever we call it it's the same gain pvp damage reduction um, night healing also has a four percent chance to restore health and then these two in the middle of the wing hp uh, at first i had it at 10 each but I had a couple of extra talents so I, I'm starting to fill this up uh, for the, the general tab you can start with 6 here uh, once you have uh, you are done with everything start populating these before these two because this gives out much um, bigger HP uh, keep this at minimum this one is around 30% damage reduction for all uh, this is the wrong description here uh, this is kept at minimum minimum uh, sorry 10 prerequisite 10 prerequisite 10 as the prerequisite for this one so and this one I max it out at 15 this is the wrong description here it pertains to damage up and I've tested it and yes it's it, even though this description is wrong it still increases your damage up so this is not the correct one uh, enhance these are all maxed out as you can see here um, so cooldown uh, fixed damage um, bleeding damage uh, cooldown resistance and fiend imprinting is also the demonic mark uh, you know below your your feet or demonic seal it's the same thing so um, cooldown again of all spells immunity control shield additional skill damage and they cannot remove or dispel your demonic mark and here I just uh, my goal here will be to put one point for gaining air when you are attacked so I am gaining speed uh, sorry I am gaining air and uh, whenever I'm attacked I'm also gaining air so that is important if you are wearing a diviner set all right because if you take a look at a diviner uh, description here the last skill if you have a full set it says the damage taken from each attack will not exceed 7.6 percent of your max HP when your air points are not zero so I'm always gaining air and if I'm stunned and if they attack me I am gaining air so I'm never going to be zero um, back to the skills let's go to the strength tab okay um, this one everything I think is maxed out except for these two so this is actually uh, the use of a night bind is uh, from the god form or giant form so you can opt to not put anything here 
this one is common to all classes just called differently but um, good for PV just put one uh, increase the effect of madness madness cannot be found anywhere uh, on the skill descriptions here under passive so yeah not sure about that one but it will be mentioned here uh, very very you know very often uh, elemental here demon elemental again damage mark yep again for de demon elemental this side sorry about that this side is for demon elements and if you have marks uh, imprinted on the enemy uh, attack percentage here for for the wings is maxed out uh, hellfire this is the same as burn sacrifice blackburn sacrifice and every other sacrifice they named the talents um, will reactivate as you can see here every five se for, for five seconds um, additional damage I mean we are on a, 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 a <laughs> we are on the attack tab so it's gonna be damage can damage here or have a fire in uh, reduce the opponent's defense so that you can deal more damage all right get five ta uh, five percent ignore defense same as this one um, it removes your buff reset the uh, cooldown of hellfire and release it without um, consuming the, uh, the demonic mark so because I think one hellfire whatever uh, talent it is from from here it will consume maybe two or one of uh, the markings you have below your feet so go back to strength um, since this one doesn't consume the markings and you are sure that you have at least three damage marks below all right moving on to death uh, left side here I think is pertaining to the god form or giant form so I didn't put anything here uh, since it's saying dark cage and dark cage is this one dark cage so furious chase is also another god uh, skill which is this one furious chase furious pursuit same thing yeah or fury chase again called differently same thing so these are all fury chases so I'm good I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna use giant form because it's hard to to cast when you're in COG or Heaven's Arena it's very hard to use um, when you are on auto right and I want uh, all my attacks on auto because that would take advantage of my attack speed rather than I, than I manually pressing attack speed thank you Marts uh, maximum health again we're on the defense so increased after night healing night healing damage mark gains additional defense and damage reduction reduce cooldown uh, doesn't say uh, which talent it's uh, cooling down um, yep this one is uh, pertaining to health and this one for healing as well so you're immune uh, to control for two seconds and this has a 15 second cooldown based on the active skills so at least for 13 seconds uh, you won't be controlled and you can also add some um, uh, effects here on the dragonborn 
so you'll have more um, control um, what do you call that control resistance uh, on the dragonborn talent uh, page so we'll take a look at that later so these two again kept at 10 each so once you have enough talent uh, you may start filling these two but again after you fill this one uh, you can put it this one again at six that's the prerequisite here um, but I've got enough talent to max it out this one I kept that uh, I kept at six this one again has the wrong description but it's around 30% damage reduction uh, prerequisite 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 and this one maxed out all right enhance for the strength tab uh, the side is pertain to the god form again we're not doing god form your pursuits on a god form uh, this one also is a divine or god form god state mad state is different but you know it's on the last layer here so it's okay not to, to put anything on here because i would be <laughs> spending a lot of talent points feeling these early lower talents so i'm good i'm good with this uh, on the left side so these are pertain to the demon elements and the markings again below your feet so these are buffs and effects I maxed everything out on this side um, and for the runestone tab I maxed out everything on the right side and this I think is important right now because right now for the other skills I didn't see any damage reduction or damage dealt um, benefits on on the runestone tab for the other classes I didn't see any assassin uh, on the descriptions there so that means assassins have a very very high or good advantage over some other classes because that means I can reduce the damage taken from archers uh, gunslinger and summoner all classes here except assassins which gives me a 30% uh, damage gap from there from those classes and then I add extra damage to them that gives me that gives me another 60 sorry another 30 it makes it 60 percent plus if you have a mage if you're a dragon king a warrior archer that brings it further to 90 percent gap in terms of damage between assassin and those classes right on their end they won't they won't see any assassin you know in the descriptions so I have an advantage right now and I think that's it uh, for the talents when we'll go to the dragon born setup so the way I set it up here is PvP so again increase attack speed here 15% and damage by 3% and I have control as I was saying before I have control resistance bonus here uh, for every markings uh, below my feet so it's, it's important that uh, you have those demonic marks uh, filled out or it's five out of five at any time if you're gonna be using it for leveling I would suggest you select this one extra damage the next one is when you activate a mark or a marking it renders a target uh, silent all right and their speed by 30 percent for three seconds and an interval of three seconds so every <laughs> three seconds um, 
so when I activate the mark also I also um, aside from silencing them I also stun them for 1.5 seconds all right uh, if you're leveling up doing dungeons I suggest you select this one damage up next one cast every six seconds apply a mark of demon on a nearby target and activate mark of demon once so again uh, I think it would apply this one as well every six seconds and this one because it's tied up to this one uh, again I have control resistance here since this is a PvP type of build uh, again if you're if you want to level up faster if you're in dungeons and then select this one all right applies a rope it, it binds you to the to the target so and that's good for three seconds and if they move out if they hide they will be dragged back to and then the rope will be removed but it, they'll be damaged um, I selected this one here before the chain is broken so that's before 3 seconds is out uh, Mark of Demon will be activated once every 3 seconds on the affected target so if you activate the Mark of Demon again on the earlier page they will be silenced and stunned uh, I'm not sure if there's a PVE or leveling. No, there's no leveling uh, benefit here, so we'll move on to the next. Darkness of the Strike. So this is a buff, good for 3 minutes. Uh, it's cooldown 60 seconds, and uh, if there's. Yeah, reduce damage dealt by 20 seconds, 20% 20 for 4 seconds. Right, these are all good for four seconds, but I think I'm gonna change it here as I was reading it. So I think for three minutes, as long as you have uh, this in effect, attacks have a ten percent chance to silence the target and reduce the target's HP regeneration by fifty percent for two seconds. So I'm gonna select that, which means uh, because this is just good for the first four seconds. Uh, upon activation this one is good for the whole duration of the three minutes so I think that's better uh, so this is more of like the des despy skill uh, of the archers also when HP drops to one it's immortal for three seconds and it has a very very long cooldown here but I extended it to 7 seconds by selecting this um, skill yep I think I'm good with that uh, grants immunity and briefly untargetable if you're doing the shuffle and deals 800% skill damage to enemies nearby so if you've watched my my Heaven's Arena videos, you'll notice that uh, during the first few seconds of the battle, their HP are almost reduced to zero because of this. Such a, uh, such a very strong skill. So I can either add more damage to that, make it 900%, but since I'm on a PvP and defense uh, focused build I opted to you know just absorb some of the damage here for at least 20% amount of my HP so yeah I think that gives it around 400 million uh, to be absorbed if you're doing CVG uh, yeah you can probably select this one Next skill, jump sire. This is the Gatot Kacha type of skill. The the shuffle is more of a Lancelot 
this is cathode and it will you, you will be um, jumping higher and the, the, the map will zoom out and then I think you have around six seconds to position yourself and then strike and when you strike you stun them for two seconds right and it costs uh, you know mar demon markings uh, two demon markings um, let's see here ignites the target to hit deplete 12 percent or mass being around three seconds so it's around 36 percent for the whole three seconds so one third of their hp if they if they get hit by this they're stunned and then lose one third of their hp if uh, they have less than one third then they'll probably die um, you can select this if you want full you know control resistance build uh, and this one I, I, I opted to produce or gain some damage here uh, this gets automatically casted if you have if you're low on HP or you can manually trigger it um, so it's good that for when you trigger it you know at least you have six seconds to to get away from from the opponent and then heal or you can continue attacking if uh, they have zero HP as well so you can probably stun them for two seconds heal use the night healing and then keep on attacking because they're stunned and they'll also um, reduce their HP by around 36% right. so any from these four are actually good and it's actually the last talent so yeah those are my settings and I hope I help you guys uh, building a non giant non god form of the assassin as I mentioned there around four billion um, HP it used to be around 4.3 uh, I think still a significant amount it would last me you know for quite a while in PvP battles so yeah a in exchange I have maxed out almost all of my activated talents uh, on here all right uh, till next time I'm about to level up here till next time subscribe like my video and share I'm signing out